Hello, my name is Igor and today I would like to talk about filament dryers again. Uh, allow me a few minutes uh, just quickly to explain why they are needed. Filaments can absorb moisture from the air. Some filaments are less sensitive to this, like PLA, ABS, but uh, depend of course where do you live. If you live in an area with high humidity, uh, then you will need the filament dryers from time to time even for these filaments. Uh, PETG and nylon are more sensitive to this. With PETG first you will notice some stringing and uh, it will result a weaker layer adhesion. And the nylon, well it's almost impossible to get a good quality printing with nylon if it is not dried. Now nylon needs a higher drying temperature, about 70-75 degrees Celsius. And even for longer period, PETG can be dried on even lower temperature. Uh, approximately half years ago, I did a review of the Isan E-Box filament dryer. According to my experiments, it is good enough to uh, dry a PETG, but uh, the temperature is not enough for drying a nylon. A few other issues I had with this older version, uh, and that is, it is uh, noisy. Uh, it is good that it has space for desiccant and it has fan inside but the fan is too loud and also they use some kind of relay which uh, clicks and this click sound can be heard every maybe 20 seconds approximately and some wider spools cannot fit inside this uh, filament dryer and also it doesn't have any insulation here at least on the plastic uh, and uh, I'm missing some temperature meter and humidity meter uh, on this display so I had these uh, issues with this older version and now uh, the eSun sent me the new version, it is eBox Lite and uh, I will compare it to see which one dries better and what are the improvements on this new version. Before I open it, uh, let's see some information on the box. Uh, some specifications I can see here on the back side. And uh, I can see that uh, unfortunately the capacity of the spool is not changed, 273 millimeters. Uh, but one improvement I can see that it works now on uh, 24 volts uh, instead of 12 volts on the older version. User guide. Twenty four volts, two amps, and here also we have this uh, woven tube. So uh, during the printing, it can be used, uh, and uh, the filament will not will get less contact with the air if it goes through this uh, woven until the printing. Hmm. Side by side, okay. Uh, outside, it's <laughs> I cannot see too big difference. Here the buttons are black. Here they are white. Inside, I can see some differences. Ebox slide got some insulation here on the plastic. There is a space for desiccant, and uh, interesting, uh, it has this plate, so the heat is spread equally. It is very similar, like, like with the silo filament dryer. There are some uh, rollers. The spool can be placed on this roller, and they will rotate more easily. There is a fan, and well, I'm not sure it's not too comfortable, but probably there is a place for the silica gel. Here it was a little bit easier to place that uh, desiccant inside this uh, filament dryer. Now I believe that airflow was better with the older version because now it is partly blocked with this uh, heating plate. And let's check the back side. This has more power, so this works on 12 volts 3 amps and 36 watts, and this one works on 24 volts. 2 amps, this results uh, 48 watts. Unfortunately, the dimensions looks the same, so uh, probably we will not have the uh, problems with the regular size of the spools. But unfortunately, some wider spools like this uh, Prusament cannot fit inside. Let's turn it on.
I turn it on now and uh, first I can see this is the temperature but I think this is again only setting the levels so I cannot set the exact temperature and we have only three levers here we had four levers so uh, in this uh, user guide I have to find which level so it's for which filament so level one it will result inside temperature of 40 degrees Celsius level 2 the heat plate will be 116 degrees Celsius and with result 50 degrees Celsius inside temperature and on level 3 the plate is 118 degrees Celsius and uh, 55 degrees Celsius we can expect inside M, I'm changing the mode it is the time so I can set here number of hours when I want it to turn off let's see what's the max Hmm, 18 hours is the maximum and only these two settings so uh, I can switch only between time and uh, temperature but this is not the temperature as I mentioned only the level so again you see we don't have the humidity meter and uh, really temperature and also uh, hmm, uh, here we had a weight scale but here it looks like it's uh, taken out but now big improvement we don't have any more that click sound of the relay which turns on and off the heating uh, i want to show you how to install this bovden tube so it is equal like with the previous version uh, it can be installed uh, in this direction or in up direction and in this case the filament goes through this uh, tube and uh, less contact with the air until it goes into cd printer well, length of this tube is approximately, well, I will measure it just a second, approximately 60 centimeters. I want to compare the noise, now both are turned on. This is a noise from the older version now. That was the click of the relay, and now this is the fan. And now the newer version. But here we don't have that click sound of the relay. And now in this experiment I want to find out which one drives better. So this is my test setup. I have here the AGC 1080 humidity and temperature sensor. And uh, since they use the I2C or I2C communication, uh, but on Arduino I can connect only one because they have the same address. I'm using this I2C uh, extender. And uh, I have these two uh, sponges for cleaning of the soldering uh, tip and I will add the same amount of, of water, I will measure the weight and I will dry it maybe one or two hours and then measure the weight again. Adding this plate on the rollers and then the sponges, they will be approximately in the center of the box. This is my Arduino code. To the default uh, HTC 1080, uh, I added this uh, function. And here uh, with this line, I can switch between the sources, between the sensor on this uh, I2C extender. I will place this code, you can download it from my tech from website, and also I place there the wiring diagram. Quick test for the sensor, so they are now side by side and I can see on serial monitor they are giving uh, very similar values so they are working correctly and now I start drying and uh, follow the temperature and the humidity they are on the highest values now I'm resting the serial monitor now and collecting the data. 
I can see already that uh, in uh, eastern light the temperature is inside 40 degrees Celsius uh, on the e-box is only 35 probably uh, better heater and uh, the thermal insulation I'm quite sure that the desiccant has quite big effect to the uh, drying now I try to find two almost equal and they are together in this bag for a longer period so they should be equal and I will place them in these two filament dryers and now after more than half hours the temperature stabilized so in e-box it is 47 degrees Celsius and uh, in the new version uh, in light it is 51 degrees Celsius but it's very interesting that the relative humidity is much bigger in the old version it is 34 percentage and in the e-box light it is uh, 24 25 percentage there is my setup and it's important to mention that in this room currently the temperature is approximately 29 degrees Celsius and uh, 51 percentage is the relative humidity and this is a time-lapse video as you can see I added the desiccant a little bit later and now after more than one hour uh, I will stop the drying and uh, I will measure the sponges It's quite dry, almost get the, its original size. And the weight is 0 0.643 grams. And the other. 0 0.635 grams. So <laughs> almost in both cases the sponge get its original weight. And let's analyze the collected data. I copy the data from cellular monitor into the Excel and I have to separate the cells using the comma in this case. And then I, I formatted these uh, cells a little bit to get the numbers and enter the time too. And insert the graph and uh, this is the structure which I like. And let's take a closer look. On horizontal axis we can see the time in minutes on vertical axis uh, we can see the relative humidity and the temperatures uh, this anomaly you can see in this graph is because uh, here after approximately 15 minutes I noticed that I didn't place the desiccant inside the boxes so I open them and uh, insert in both boxes the silica gel and what can we see that uh, even after the start after a few minutes the temperature inside the e-box light raised uh, much faster compared to the regular the older version e-box and according to this the relative humidity changed also so uh, in the uh, e-box light the relative humidity was uh, lower compared to the e-box version uh, of course uh, here I inserted a desiccant but even at the end we can see quite big difference in relative humidity and the uh, stabilized temperature inside the e-box light was approximately 52 degrees Celsius and inside the e-box it was approximately uh, 48 degrees Celsius and here I stopped the uh, drying kept on tape and this is temperature sensor so I want to measure uh, this uh, heat plate it says it is above 100 degrees Celsius of course probably the heating element is below this plate so this will be lower but uh, let's measure it now the temperature stabilized so uh, the heat plate is 66 degrees Celsius and I place another thermometer which is approximately two centimeters from the heat plate so imagine if you place a spool in which is rotating so that will be approximately from this distance and there the temperature is 50.4 degrees Celsius and now the conclusions so which one dries better? Well you saw the results, so the new version is uh, better from the drying aspect and actually the only disadvantage here is that we don't have the wake scale but uh, with this the price is at least uh, reduced uh, more important things are improved here for example we have that uh, silent switch for temperature uh, we have this thermal insulation on these walls here uh, we have the heating plate here which spreads the heat equally and also it works on higher power 
Now uh, it's still not perfect, so uh, there is a tip for the e sunny photo uh, design, the eBox version 2 for example. So this one is almost uh, perfect, uh, but it has to accept uh, wider spools. Approximately 10% of my spools cannot fit uh, here because they are bigger than 73 millimeters. And uh, uh, of course it is very important to have the humidity and temperature values here on the display. And it would be good to have at least 70 degrees Celsius if you want to dry an nylon, for example. Uh, I believe that uh, DC power maybe is not enough for this temperature. Uh, maybe it could work directly from the AC power, similar like those food uh, dehydratators. But um, I don't know, maybe uh, you have some better suggestion, please let me in the comment. And uh, what else? Uh, yes, uh, this uh, e-box was sent to me by Banggood approximately half years ago and this newer version ebox Lite was sent to me by Isan and uh, I will place those links down in the description. Thank you for watching and happy drying!